Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dylan, and I'm here today with another episode of Hannibal. I'm enjoying this season so far and everything we got going on. And it looks like we're going to be continuing on with the Chesapeake Ripper story as we're going to be really diving into who this person is. Although we kind of know who it really is. And we're still waiting to hear Dr. Gideon expose that he's not the real Chesapeake Ripper and find out why Hannibal has this control over people. What is it that he offers them to be able to do whatever it is he wants? Also, does Hannibal have the DNA of every single person he's killed? Does he just, like have them in like files stored in a room somewhere? Because it was real interesting how he was able to plant all of uh, that girl Miriam, who I kept referring to as the first will. He planted all that DNA inside Jack's house and it's just like, whoa. It's really scary when a medical doctor goes to being a psychologist and somewhere in between all of that was a serial killer. All of that knowledge is a little too powerful for one person. Anyways, I'm excited to get into this next episode, and if you are too, please remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's watch more Hannibal. Chesapeake Ripper kills in sounders of three. I use the term sounders because it refers to a small group of pigs. That's how he sees his victims. Not as people, not as uh, prey. Pigs. 11 months after the sixth victim, My there was a separator. Also, what makes Will just decide? Decide that this is like fact. Removal of organs and abdominal mutilations means someone with anatomical or surgical know how. There is a distinctive brutality. If Jack doesn't stop fucking interrupting this goddamn lecture, bro, where the hell is the camera right now? Is he like brought to tears by the beauty of her voice? I mean, obviously he's meant to be like this extremely fascinating character with a twist that he's the serial killer and all of this stuff, but it's just like, it's been too long since ah, get caught. He used to throw such exquisite dinner parties. You heard me, used to. And I will again, once inspiration strikes. You cannot force a feast, the feast you must present yourself. Everything he says when it, when it comes to food is such a double entendre. I believe this young man is trying to get your attention. Hello. Hi, so good to see you. This is my friend Tobias. Good evening. His eyes kept wandering. More interested in you than what was happening on stage. Oh, don't say too much. You must leave something for us to discuss next week. Franklin? Good to see you. You too. Class. What's with the eerie looks, the long pauses? Oh God, this guy is ready to eat. Hannibal is just f***ing with him, dude. And Jack allows it, I'm sick of it. The reason he left you Miriam Lass's arm is so he could poke you with it. His other victims, he wanted to humiliate in death like, like a public dissection. She was different. He's probably impressed that she was able to find him. Everybody out. His heart seizes up. I opened his chest wall. I spread the ribs. I take his heart in my hand. This wasn't brutal. The killer wasn't killing. He was trying to save his life. Never ever do that. So many like things to throw them off his trail. This is a medical student or a trainee or someone trying to make an extra buck in a back alley surgery and it went bad. Went actively bad. Is it though? Eventually. Well, I want to catch him now. When I do, you're not going to get a chance to shoot him. Because I'm going to do that. Yeah, you can't just jack up the law and get underneath it, can't I? Jack is willing to do anything right now. But I really don't know who you are outside this room. I'm your psychiatrist. 
I want you to be my friend. It makes me sad that I have to pay to see you. It's also stability and clarity, Franklin. I'm not your friend. I'm a great friend. <laughs> I was listening to uh, Michael Jackson last night. You know what I think is the saddest thing about him dying is that I will never get to meet him. And I feel like if I was his friend, that I, I would have been able to help save him from himself. Yeah, I mean, all right. Who wrote this shit? <laughs> well, one of us has to be honest. I'm honest. Not perfectly. As honest as I Not really. I have conversations with a version of you and hope that the actual you gets what he needs. But you are wearing a very well-tailored person suit. Do you refer to me as person suit with your psychiatrist friends? I don't discuss patients with my psychiatrist friends. Maybe it's less of a person suit and more of a human veil. Hmm. It must be lonely. I have friends. And the opportunities for friends. You and I are friendly. You are my patient and my colleague, not my friend. At the end of your hour, I will pour you a glass of wine. Nevertheless, you will be drinking it on the other side of the veil. Why do you bother? I see enough of you to see the truth of you, and I like you. All right, this is interesting. I've also developed a theory as to what started Hannibal down this path. Strap yourselves in and hold on. You've been drinking. I had a glass of wine with my last appointment, yes. Drinking with a patient? She was drinking with a patient. I have an unconventional psychiatrist. Well, we have that in common. Am I your psychiatrist, or are we simply having conversations? Yes, I think is the answer to that. What? Then having a glass of wine before seeing a patient, I assure you, is very conventional. God damn it, I wish she gave a straight answer to that or something. The disease they is an infection. With? An infection isn't always a disease. That is true. May I ask for your business card, please? For my records. Is he about to kill this guy? All right, so I'm trying to talk, talk as quickly as possible. Hannibal throws Jack off his trail, but he's very fascinated at like being caught or playing cat and mouse with somebody. So every time he has these conversations with Will, he's he's putting Will back on the track that he's throwing Jack off of. He wants Will to find out who he is first, where the show kind of foreshadowed that Jack is supposed to be the guy, or at least at least in terms of what his job is. Right with with the, with the Miriam shake saying you're the guru you could you know figure this out but Hannibal's throwing him off so well and then there's Will who's just kind of like there figuring shit out. Nah. Do you need a hand? I think I must have hit a rock or something. Jeez. Oh my God! What did he do to him? Not only did the Ripper take his kidney. Oh my god. You still think that he was ripping out a heart to save a life? Yes, I do. No! Is the organ harvester disguising his work as the crimes of a serial killer? Or is a serial killer disguising Bacon wrapped heart? Oh my god. The Chesapeake Ripper wants to perform. But every brutal choice has elegance. I mean, he, he just wants some fresh meat. I've been unspeakably rude. I haven't offered you a drink. I appreciate beer more than wine. You were already having an affair. Will does that too, you know? What? Have affairs? Flirtatiously change the subject. You have that pathology in common. Or we just have you in common. Will flirts? I, recall I don't before I think I saw that. I spoke about it. It's not even about Will. Jack's obsessed with the Chesapeake Ripper and he's grooming Will to catch him. And I sincerely hope he does. One thing I was curious is that like we see we see Hannibal flirt a little bit. And I mean, you know, he's not a bad looking guy. He's always dressed in nice and shit. I'm curious as to, like no one's ever questioned him about his love life. He's an older guy. You would think like, don't you have a wife or something? What the hell? Is that real? No, what the hell? That's Will. What the hell is that hallucination about? Guys just seeing things. Oh 
my god. Oh my god. Is this how he does his business? Oh my god. Lamb brains. Oh my god. He keeps everybody's business card that he kills. And it looks like he's like organizing all their body parts, preparing them for like, all right, this motherfucker got a nasty meal prep situation. Who the hell gets a spleen transplant? <laughs> Ripper's making sausage. Uh. Uh. We saw him feed sausage to dogs earlier too, dude. I discovered that we are cheese folk. <laughs> What's this man's obsession with Hannibal? You often worry about being alone. I worry about hurting. Being alone comes with a, a dull ache. Doesn't it? It can. So it's funny they bring up that alone talk when I was just I was just referencing how like Animal's a single guy and there's no like lady. There's no question of anything like that. It's just an older man, strangely always well dressed. But what happened to the guy now? Like, did he are we Will Graham he's supposed to see later that day? It's better that it's just the two of us. Wait, what? Who What's going on? Well, what, whoa, what the hell is going on with Will? Was I sleepwalking? Your eyes were open, but you were not present. Uh, yeah, something has happened with him before with that. What's going on? Displaying one's enemy after death has its appeal in many cultures. These aren't the Ripper's enemies. These are pests he's swatted. The reward for their cruelty takes their organs away because in his mind they don't deserve them giving him the damn answers ripper had no reason to humiliate miriam lass seems to me he was humiliating someone he was humiliating jack yeah did it work whoa i'd say it worked really well stop with these damn lines well there you are mm. dr lecter what a surprise we have a lead do you care to uh, help us catch the Ripper? Oh my God! No, don't include him. He's gonna throw you off again. Is there GPS on that ambulance? Mm -hmm. Encrypted messaging or remote tracking? We can't afford that kind of hardware. We use consumer grade. Digital trunk systems. Yeah. Jack. Yeah. If the ambulance radio is on, I can use the DF sweep to find it. Good. This is very educational. Yes, it is for him because now he knows more things. Oh my god. Are we gonna find the patient that has been he's been seeing all this time inside this truck? That's what I'm expecting because otherwise, why has he been around so much? Show me your hands. I can't. Show me your hands. He'll die. Dr. Lecter! Oh my god. He was removing his kidney. Poorly, I can stop the bleeding. Do it. Have you got it? I've got it. Mr. Silvestri, put your hands behind your head and exit the vehicle slowly. Now I'm starting to think everybody who Hannibal has control over, they don't even know who he is. He's just some sort of... <laughs> Will, please figure this shit out. Holy shit. Not the bacon wrapped heart. Flowering the liver or we're long? God damn it. Oh. Serve with tomatoes in suspension and everybody will love the sweet taste. You sure you can't stay? Uh, I don't think I would be good company. I disagree. Yeah, keep Will away from the food. I hope that's a continuous thing that Will has not eaten the food yet. Why don't you stop being a surgeon? I killed someone. Are you an emergency room surgeon? It has to happen from time to time. It happened one time too many. It's minds instead of bodies, and no one's died as a result of my therapy. I have to go. I have a date with the Chesapeake Ripper. Oh, Dolly Zoom. I love a Dolly Zoom. <laughs> the crazy shit is like, how do, how do any of these people, these grown ass adults, not realize that like any of this meat they're eating is like definitely not animal? 
Before we begin, you must all be warned. Nothing here is vegetarian. Oh, my Point God. Empty. Disgusting. Constantly, sir. I wonder if there's like a message here of like the elites and cannibalism. I wonder if there's any type of message like that going on with the show. The only thing I have to kind of say right now, my only main takeaway from this episode, which is more so a question I want to ask um, at the end, like the end of the season. But I'm going to get into it right now. I mean, I'm wondering when are we going to find out Hannibal's motivations for all of this? Right. And I've kind of crafted my own theory so far, just based on like other things that I think I've come across other medias. I'm just able to generate my own kind of like theory. So I would like to think, right, Hannibal does all this stuff. He be, he turned out the way he did because I'm assuming his mother died when he was very young. His father was abusive. He killed the father as a child, probably went through the law system and whatever the fuck. By the age of 18, decided he wants to be a doctor, right? So. You know, this, it, it, he's probably had other murders throughout, like, he presumably killed his dad. Probably had other murders string along in there, or it just all kind of came back. All right, yeah, I don't know. He become, he goes to be a doctor. He says in this episode, which I thought was a little bit of a clue, you know, we'll ask him, when did you stop being a surgeon? And, this, and then he's like, when I killed somebody. And it's, right, it, like, Hannibal is always saying these lines that are so direct and so, like, obvious that he's the guy. But it always just gets, like, swept under the rug. And then there was, hold on, there was the whole conversation with uh, his own psychiatrist at telling him, like, he's wearing a human suit or he's wearing this person's suit and so it's like i don't i don't think this show has any supernatural elements to it so i don't really think like he's an actual alien or something i don't really think he's not human but it's like he's a demon personified like he's wearing a person suit because he's so twisted and evil on the inside that there's no humanity and that's where like my theory stems from i mean no humanity is stemming from like this traumatic childhood where your mom dies young probably because your father was abusive and abused you that just like completely destroyed your mentality as a kid and then you go on to kill your father or whatever the case maybe kill both parents so you know who knows i'm hoping we get a little more hints at Hannibal or anything i mean i don't know when they're gonna figure this stuff out because there's as for something i know right a little little teaser hint at season three hannibal will be in full of force like he's gonna be not hiding anything at least that's that's what i believe the season three like emotional posters express or represent or maybe i've even read a couple of like teaser synopsis or something like that i don't know so i there's gonna be like this cat and mouse game i suspect for the rest of the season maybe even in season two but season three i think they might know hannibal is hannibal and now he has to either be on the run or i don't know but that's gonna be all for today if you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one so take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourselves a damn good one